5 Natural Ways to Increase Bone Density, Bones and Osteoporosis Osteoporosis is a condition that affects bones, making them less dense, more fragile and prone to fractures. Some people have a higher risk of developing osteoporosis than others. Also, certain bones in the body are more likely than others to become weakened by osteoporosis and fracture. Your bones have two types of structure, a dense form called cortical bone and a lattice-like form called spongy bone. Cortical bone forms the hard outside layer of all bones in the body and makes up most of the skull and ribs. Spongy bone is mainly found inside the vertebrae and inside the ends of long bones like the femur. Before we continue with the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information about bones and osteoporosis. In a normal thigh bone, there is cortical bone along the outside of the shaft of the bone and spongy bone inside the end of the bone near the hip joint. With osteoporosis, there is reduced bone density and structure in the spongy bone, as well as thinning of the cortical bone. When your bones have thinned to the point that osteoporosis is diagnosed, the physical structure and soundness of your bones has changed. In particular, the cortical bone becomes thinner and the spongy bone becomes less dense with bigger spaces forming between the bony structure of struts, which also become thinner. Osteoporosis is a bone disease that causes them to become less dense, more fragile, and prone to fractures. Some people are more likely than others to develop osteoporosis. Furthermore, certain bones in the body are more susceptible to osteoporosis and fracture than others. Osteoporosis and Bones Your bones are divided into two types, cortical bone, which is dense, and spongy bone, which is lattice-like. Cortical bone is the hard outer layer of all bones in the body, making up the majority of the skull and ribs. Spongy bone is found primarily inside the vertebrae and at the ends of long bones such as the femur. Cortical bone runs along the outside of the shaft of a normal thigh bone, and spongy bone runs inside the end of the bone, near the hip joint. Osteoporosis causes decreased bone density and structure in the spongy bone, as well as cortical bone thinning. The physical structure and soundness of your bones has changed when your bones have thinned to the point where osteoporosis is diagnosed. More specifically, the cortical bone thins out and the spongy bone becomes less dense as larger spaces form between the bony structure of struts, which also thins. The density of one's bones is important for one's overall health. If the bones lose density, they are more likely to break. The density of bones changes over time. The bones absorb nutrients and minerals and grow in strength throughout childhood, adolescence, and early adulthood. However, by the late 20s, a person has reached their peak bone mass, which means they will no longer gain bone density. As a person ages, his or her bones may lose density. After menopause, a person is more vulnerable to osteoporosis, a disease that weakens the bones to the point where they can break easily. However, there are numerous methods for increasing and maintaining bone density. Continue reading for natural ways to increase bone density. 1. Weightlifting and resistance training. Strength training has been shown to increase bone mineral density and decrease inflammation. Weightlifting and strength training have both been shown in studies to promote new bone growth and maintain existing bone structure. A study on bone density in children with type 1 diabetes, for example, found that participating in weight-bearing physical activity during peak bone growth years improves bone density. Another study in children produced similar results. Weight and strength training has the following advantages. Higher bone mineral density, increased bone mass, decreased inflammation, prevention of bone loss, greater muscle mass. 2. Consuming more vegetables. Vegetables provide vitamins, minerals, and fiber while being low in calories. According to one study trusted source, vitamin C may help protect bones from damage. Most people can benefit from eating yellow and green vegetables. These vegetables promote bone growth in children and help maintain bone density and strength in adults. According to one study trusted source, children who ate green and yellow vegetables and avoided fried foods had an increase in healthy fat and bone density. Another study trusted source found that eating nine servings of cabbage, broccoli, and other vegetables and herbs for three months reduced bone turnover and calcium loss in postmenopausal women. The researchers attributed the findings to the increase in polyphenols and potassium provided by the vegetables. 3. Getting enough calcium throughout the day. Calcium is the most important mineral for bone health people must consume enough calcium in their diets because their bones are constantly breaking down and growing. Rather than eating one high calcium meal per day, the best way to absorb calcium is to consume small amounts throughout the day. Unless otherwise directed by a doctor, calcium should be obtained through diet. 
calcium-rich foods include milk, cheese, yogurt, some leafy greens like kale, beans, sardines. 4. Consuming foods high in vitamin D and K. K2 rich foods, such as sauerkraut, are essential for bone health. Vitamin K2 promotes bone health by reducing calcium loss and assisting minerals in binding to the bones. Vitamin K2 containing foods include sauerkraut, cheese, natto, a soybean derived product. Calcium absorption is aided by vitamin D. People who are deficient in vitamin D are more likely to lose bone mass. Vitamin D can be absorbed through moderate sun exposure. Without enough vitamin D, a person is more likely to develop bone diseases such as osteoporosis or osteopenia. 5. Keeping a healthy weight. A healthy weight is essential for bone density. People who are underweight are more likely to develop bone disease disease, whereas people who are overweight put additional strain on the bones. People should avoid rapid weight loss and cycling between weight gain and loss. When a person loses weight, their bone density decreases, but this density does not return when they regain weight. This loss of density can result in weaker bones.